Hello, so today I have a Star Wars The Saga Collection Hem Dazon. This figure here is seen in the cantina at Moss Eisley uh, as one of the background characters. Uh, here on the back of the card you see the, the figure himself and the screenshot of the figure. Has his species, his home world, main hangout. Just a brief description of the of the character and where you see him at. He is over here it has the Saga 033 for the figure. Here are a lot of the other figures from this series. I like this, this Val Modana. He's a, a pretty cool Jedi there. As seen in the Clone Wars. The exclusive hologram figure. Looks like that might be a cloaked Darth Sidious. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this guy open so we go ahead and take a look at that. These ones here have the tape on the back. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get this bubble cut, shall we? There's the, the exclusive hologram figure. I like how it has the, the Imperial stamp on the bottom. And here is the, the Hem Dazon figure stand, the Star Wars figure stand. Really miss the fact that, you know, Hasbro's cut out figure stands on a lot of their figures. We just don't have them anymore. Let's go ahead so it looks like he has a rubber band. We'll go ahead and cut that real quick, maybe. Pre-lost blaster wanted to fall out of his hands. Really surprised the blaster wasn't rubber band into his his little mitts there. Let's go ahead and get the glass as well as the table topped out. Dispose of the plastic. So I like these little random end tables. It's like you can't do much with them, but just have a nice little section there for someone to rest their drink on. Then here is the the hem here. So he does have the the evil swivel articulation in the elbow, but he does also have the wrist articulation. So you can position the, the arm in different ways. But they still naturally rest only one way. So as you can tell by the fold of his his elbow, he's supposed to be in kind of a drawn position. Does have the, the elbow swivel there. Or pivot the he does have some pretty decent shoulder articulation still on both arms there it's kind of nice Let's take a look at that and then he does have the ball jointed neck so you can get him to look around pretty well he has the standard T crotch for the era and okay so he has a little bit of an ankle pivot there but no knee articulation whatsoever so I, I imagine this figure is going to be a little bit of a nightmare to stand, maybe. Looks like he wants to be really... Oh, not that bad. So, fairly decent to stand. Let's go ahead and get that blaster there in his hands. Or in his, in his holster there. Because he does come with the holster. I like how the web gear is a separate piece, so it is, it is a little loose right there, but... Anyways, there's the Hem Dazon from the Moss Eisley Cantina in Star Wars A New Hope. And as always, thank you for watching.